What are you doing? Can you, can you not talk to me? Just for, uh, just for the... What are you doing? Hey, don't do that again. Don't do that again. Because it ain't there, because storing dead niggers ain't my fucking business. That's why. Hey, Jimmy, we're not going <laughs> to store them. <laughs> A Mike has special Quentin Tarantino film review. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mike has for you. We are here to talk about Reservoir Dogs. This is a Quentin Tarantino crime film about a series of robbers that are all strangers to each other that conduct a robbery that goes wrong with one of the cop, one of the robbers being an undercover cop. I mean, this is the first Quentin Tarantino film, but the dialogue in this film it just lays the foundation for who, who each character is. Like. It, it just, the dialogue in this film is really clever, it's fun, it's amazing. The dialogue and conver conversions between each characters in this film really is just so funny and clever and interesting and really just, it makes the film is the amazing, funny sequences of dialogue. The plot is all out of order, but it shows who each character is and gives a lot of flashbacks, but it all ends with an epic Quentin Tarantino violent conclusion. It's great. Steve Buscemi, who plays Mr. Orange in this film, is such a great character and an actor in this film. Like, uh, Mr. Mr. Pink's just a guy I could just hang out with and have a cup of coffee with, because he's funny as shit, honestly. I just, and Steve Buscemi delivers this funny, hyperactive, like, uh, you know, performance, and he just, like, he's really energized and it's so funny. Tim Roth plays Mr. Orange, great actor, Tim Roth was, and uh, also his character had a lot of depth and was really interesting and you know, you, you start to care for him in the film once you figure out about him. The music in Reservoir Dogs is amazing and it's really funky and to this day I have many songs from this music in its playlist. This movie came out in 1992 but it has a lot of movies from the 70s and 80s but they're still really good songs, some of them even being featured on Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Great soundtrack. Check it out. The only flaw I can think of this film is that it's a little more serious than comedic, but the serious parts are really interesting and they end up like being comedic. I don't even know if this has flaws to it. I can't really think of much. I just, the only thing I can think of that's a flaw that's not really valid is that it's not as good as compared to other Tarantino films, but honestly, it's still on my top three or five Tarantino films. Everything about this film is clever and it still remains one of my favorite Tarantino films. This film is for people that want violent crime films that are really interesting and have a fun plot, that also have a uh, witty dialogue and a clever dialogue that is also really comedic. This is definitely not for sensitive people that want a clean film. This is, Reservoir Dogs is a serious but really fun crime film. And overall my personal opinion on this film is a 4 out of 5 guys, 4 out of 5. Tell me guys what you thought of the review down in the comment section below. And if you've seen the movie, tell me what you thought of that also. And please check out this film. I think a lot of people really like this film. Certain people won't like it. But it's really enjoyable and worth your time, worth a rental. And it's on Hulu, I believe, currently. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.